Welcome back guys. Today we're going to discuss three different animation methods. Two of them are not in automatic 1111 yet and one of them is a method that I've been using to animate some of my pictures and we're going to do that one together. One of the methods we're going to discuss is a one click animation method and it's the one you can see on screen right now. It's called Roop. I'm going to leave everything in the description as usual. So as you can see here, you can select any method, AMD, Nvidia, Mac or Intel. It'll give you all the steps you have to follow. You go back here, you'll, you'll have this window open. All you have to do here is just select the video as we said, select one single picture without any training, without anything and supposedly it'll give you the, these kinds of results that we saw in the beginning. Now, if you are able to produce something, if you have a powerful GPU and produce something, do tag us on Twitter so we can share that with the community the next time we make a video. Now, this next method really blew my mind and I expect this to show up in automatic 1111 at some point. I'll be on it like a hawk. What it's called is break a scene and what it does is you upload a picture and it segments it like we did in our previous video, but here it actually separates all the elements and recreates them independently. It'll recreate the background, it'll recreate that bowl, it'll recreate this troll, what, what is this called, the gremlin? I don't know what this is, and the rock. It'll find everything in the picture, it'll segment every detail, and it'll separate them and create a single picture for each one of the elements so you can reuse it with another prompt. Like here, they made this gremlin stand up with a baby. You can see the prompts that they used. Here, they made the background by itself. Here, they made the bowl with the gremlin inside of it, etc. The power that this gives you is absolutely nuts this is one of the most exciting projects in my opinion that we're going to be able to soon use next i'm going to show you a method that i use using in painting to give some life to my pictures it's an animation method and i'm going to show you how to use that to create a gif a video add some audio it can be really cool if you use your imagination so let's get into it first we're going to think of an image we want to make i'm thinking of creating lilith from diablo 4 since that's coming out soon let's see if stable diffusion is able to create something good so let's say lilith from diablo standing in fire since it's a video game let's add unreal engine and 8k now there's an extension that i like to use here that's nothing revolutionary but it does give me a bit of an idea of which artist i want to attach to my prompt it's called artist to study i'll leave it in the description for anybody who's interested and in this case we're trying to do a portrait and we're going to do let's say cartoon get images now as you can see it got images of artists and their styles so we can scroll down here let's try to use this one by goro fujita so we take goro fujita and we add it to the end here let's generate so here it is this is what we got not too shabby the next thing we're going to want to do is send it to inpaint once in inpaint we're going to want to select whatever we want to animate in this case we're going to try to animate the fire so we select the fire here of course the more precise you are with the selection the better but I'm just trying to do this to show you how it looks. Now, once that's done, what we're gonna do is remove this part or the whole part, say fire and go down here, leave it as original, put only masked. I don't understand this whole picture because the point of masking it is not to do the whole picture, but okay. And here's the important part now. We need to put this CFG scale all the way up to like 25 because we don't want it to stray too far from what we made. And the next thing we want to do is put denoising strength at like 0.1 or 0.15 because we don't want too much of a change. And the next part of our job is to select five to 10 batches. Let's put six and then we generate. Now here we got these six images. You can't tell the difference between them at first sight. When you create a GIF or a video, that's when you're gonna see a difference. Let me show you how. The fastest method would be to open a website called easygif.com. We choose our files, then we press upload and make a GIF. We're gonna get these. We have to select six frames as we have six pictures. The delay time, I usually use around 10 and then we can either crossfade or not. That's where you're going to have to play around with it. But let's try it like this. And here we go. We got the fire moving around and Lilith standing there. And of course you can also animate it like so. I downloaded some of the sounds, free sounds online. You can find them in multiple places by Googling and adding them to this animation. You can do that with any editing software. Now let's try another one. Here we're gonna try Boy with Spiky Grass, Hair, Unreal Engine, 8K by Goro Fujita again, because I like the results we got before. 
We got this guy here. We sent it to InPaint and I just started selecting parts of his hair, a little bit of the grass here and there, and that should do. Now we generate, we go back to easygif.com. We're gonna upload these and we're gonna redo exactly what we did earlier. Of course, you can animate it as well, like we did here. Adding some wind sound to make it look like the grass is moving. So you could do really anything. It's up to you it, and your imagination to do whatever you like with it. You can even change facial features. You can make the eyes shine a little bit. I mean, obviously this is not professional level animation here, but it's a cool little trick to make your image a bit less static and give it some life. Well, there you have it, folks. Hope you found this informative. And we're going to be looking forward to those tools that we talked about at the beginning of the video. In the meantime, we'll continue researching all the brand new AI developments and looking into more ways to create fantastic art. I will catch you soon. Peace.